Alright, so back to code giver and in this module we are going to be showing you how you can add array delete array based on user inputs so these are the stuff we do last tutorial so i'm just going to comment this out oh my god that's not this is it so i'll just try to comment this out then push it down 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 below this is not too bad so all we got this show array we want to show array on load so let's leave this one then we don't want the new array we just want ordinary array then we are done with these guys right here so I want to pop it up to the first page good so what i'm going to do we already have the input so thank god we have add array and i'm going to create another one that said delete the array so the one is going to delete it delete array then we can just go by delete array all right so this is good so when we just we okay let me remove the array because it's making it looking too longer for me i don't know i just want something really really nice quick so we can add when i click this button i'm going to see the new value of array that i had i delete it i'm going to see the new value value of array that i'm able to delete so when i for example if i type like gap i had it need to add to the array then delete it's going to delete right let's go ahead and do this code this up real quick so let's just create a function over add array first so what we want to do is an array dot push then that's what we want to do so we need to actually go ahead and get out and get the value of their inputs now so we can say let's input equal to the document or dot get element by id of input then we can just go ahead and do input dot value not node value no not yet so we can just go ahead and push input dot value then decide to just do this so permit me to copy this uh we can just go ahead i'm going to create another another input box below sorry i say paragraph tag below so i'm just going to name this message good so so that we know that if this is truly added or it's not really really added so what i'm going to do is just copy it so this is let's output i'll copy this guy again then put it on below so uh instead of being the was call so it's just going to be message okay so it's going to be message now it's going to be message and we are not going to get the output we are going to get it by message all right this is nice real quick let's try this up so we already have our what's called I want to empty this array so let's just empty the whole array so that it's not going to print out any array everything is going to be empty so this is empty so let's go by giver then click on add there you can see we already had giver and right here is just print out giver because i want it to print out something much more interesting so you can just say <coughs> um okay input dot value plus is successfully added all right good that's all i want to have that's all so let's try it again so if i go by giver and i say add so you can see it say giver is successfully added um i need a space right here for a seconds okay so you can see give race successfully added let me try this again a couple of time okay give race successfully added then once I noticed that I forgot to clear this off so give race still there so permit me to do that in a real quick and um, it's just going to be input dot value equals to an empty string and that's all then let's go ahead and fire this up let's add my curve add it's a my case successfully added let's add giver say giver is successfully added let's add um tumors 
uh, it's a Thomas is successfully high. And if we continue to add anything like that, it says successful is always successfully added. So so this successfully added, so this successfully added. Then we had then now right now we need to go ahead and find the mechanism that we just by just typing the name of Gabriel inside the input and I press delete, then Gabriel should be able to delete and move away from the array. Okay, real quick for sec. Let's just go ahead and create a function now. So we're just going to say function over delete array like that. So we just go ahead and delete the array. There we can just say. So the first thing we need to do is to get the index of the array. And once we are able to find the index of the array, we can go ahead and delete the array on the index. So to do this for real quick, we just select the input. We need to get our input first equals to the do from the document then get the element that you find by the id of input not input input then we can select index equals to array dot index of so we can say input dot value real quick so that's what we're trying to do we're just going to fetch out the index then we can just say delete array on the index that you return and this is really really nice then we just want to go ahead and pop up this to this um, similar thing that we do here we just want to do it again right there so we print out the array there we say is not successfully added this time is successfully deleted and delete array so let us see delete array let's refresh this now let's try this out so we need to add an array that we want to delete. So let's add this. Let's add Mike. Let's add something like Joe. So let's just delete Mike out of the array. So you see, say Mike is successfully deleted. So we'll be able to delete the Mike. Let's just add Joe. Delete. So Joe is deleted. Let's add Gabriel. And right, right now, we are obviously deleting or almost all the hurry so it's like giver is already is successfully deleted and that's it that's all so maybe you want to clear you can just add a button that says clear array so array we just clear it up to be empty so i think there should be a function that undoes that array dot clear so we can just say clear so let's do clear i'm ready this up right now we are actually done with array then we move to the next topic so just create a function, another function right here. Oh my god, I want to type function of clear array. I guess was that how I I wrote it down there? Let me check for a sec. Clear array, good, 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 good. So we're just gonna get array dot oh there's not like array dot clear, but there should be a method that actually do that array dot let's look at we have index we have pop we have map push reduce reverse we have some sort local screen the value okay to just go ahead and clear the array we can just say delete array so we what we do is just that we delete all the value of the array then let's bring out this message uh, and say that we don't have anything like this here right here we just have only message right now so what we just do is that there is not like input does this we just say okay array is cleared so all this is just that we delete everything in the array let's come add it give her add mic mic add so clear so it said array is clear so don't be wondering if you are still seeing Gabriel right here is because we didn't try to print out the value of array after we clear it up so we should be able to do that now real quick okay that's not bad let's refresh these guys let's add some couple of array like gap mic mm. joe I'm, I'm trying to add little little guy so Little, little guys, so let us clear this up. So we said array is cleared. So 
array is being deleted we've deleted the old value of the array i believe there should be a mechanism for doing this no this is not python i'm mixing up python right now oh, sorry <coughs> i'm mixing up python right now so this is not a real python oh or, or we will declare we can do that also by redeclining the value of array equals to an empty string like this so instead of using delete uh, so let's try this gab mic so clear the array is clear see they are gone array is clear so we have been able to clear the value of the array so that is all i want to show you guys thank you we'll see you in the next tutorial